In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install window film on your own homes. We're gonna go over to our local hardware store and pick up some residential window film. What's going on guys? Patrick here with Window Tinting Business. I'm a professional window tinter, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install window tint for your homes or your condos or any of your residents. So this is something that you could potentially do on your own. It'll be able to help save on your energy bill. Again, reduce reduction in, in glare, heat, and make the, the house look a little bit better aesthetically as well. well. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I'm gonna show you guys where to get it. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install the window film on your windows today. We're here over at Home Depot and we are in the window tint section for the residential side. Um, if you guys don't know where it is, it's like by the window stuff. Ask someone, they'll get it to you. So we're gonna be looking into the Gilla section here and then there's titanium and then there's three in one. And these are all adhesives, not peel and cling. And over here with the titanium stuff, this is gonna be your standard mirror film, your silver films. We have a four foot by 15 foot roll, a three foot by 15 foot roll. And then we also have a three foot by six and a half feet. On it, it'll tell you like, this should cover about three windows. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this three foot by 15 foot roll of film here. It's gonna cost me 37.48. All right guys, so we've been walking around Home Depot trying to find alternatives for these kits. So I'm gonna help you save a little bit on this and not have to buy this kit. So we went over to the cleaning section. We found this spray bottle, $4. Also, we found this, uh, this nine millimeter uh, stainless steel, not carbon blade knife. It's got 13 brakes on here and you can use this to cut the window tint. This was $2. And then I tried to find like a Bondo card, a 3M Bondo card would be good, but they don't have it here at Home Depot. So we're sticking with whatever we can find at Home Depot. It's like a one-stop shop. So I found this uh, three set pack of putty knives. And this full set was $4. So $4, $4 and $2. We're now at $10 versus $15 and 50 cents for this. So we're gonna save a little bit. And I believe that this, like this spray bottle is much better. Um, that, spray, that spray bottle is crap. All right, guys, we're done uh, with our shopping. Oh, and I'm dropping receipts. Opa, opa. With the window tint and all the equipment we bought, uh, we're right over $60. This should cover about three windows, three full like double pane windows. So we're gonna see how this is gonna do. So back to install. So we're back at the house now and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the installation. Uh, first off, we're gonna need to fill up our water bottle. Uh, I fill it up to 20, uh, 25 ounces right here. And then I just have some Johnson's Baby sham Shampoo, you know, dish soap, anything would really work. What you're looking for is just a, a, a simple slip solution. So here I would probably just do like a quick five second count. That's really all you need. All you're doing is giving a little bit of slip to the adhesive side, that way the film doesn't stick instantly. You can kind of move it around if you need to. And then when you tack it down, it, it will activate the adhesive. The one thing I did forget um, is gonna be a squeegee, a cleaning squeegee, a window cleaning squeegee. You wanna get the windows as clean as possible so that when you install, you have the least amount of contaminants. I have a scrub pad, I have a squeegee, I have my spray bottle. We talked about the spatula and then uh, some paper towels. Before I get started, I'm gonna do a cleaning on the surfaces of this window and this window as well, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that window as a peel board so that you, you can do this with just one person. So this isn't a super detail clean. This is again, just trying to get the whole surface wet and then go ahead and uh, get some of that contamination loose, get all the way up into the edges and down into the corners. Just take our squeegee and we're just gonna do a 50% overlapping. So we'll squeegee and then just go ahead and just wipe the squeegee off. And then where the squeegee ended, you wanna go right in the middle of that, squeegee again. And you're gonna repeat this process. That window's clean now. You can take a, a paper towel, kind of just wipe the edges as well, just to kind of get a little bit more debris off. This one doesn't have to be crazy, crazy clean just because uh, we're not installing on these windows. We're just using it as a peel board. So we have our titanium Gila film here. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pre-cut the film to not to size, exact size, but we're gonna, we're gonna cut it so that it's a little bit more manageable. When you're handling window film, you just gotta be careful, be delicate. It is, it is delicate. So we gotta determine which side is the film side and which side is the liner side. Just take a corner and fold it on itself. And if it doesn't move, that's the film side. You put the corner to corner and you flip it the other way and it moves like that freely. That's the liner side. This is what we wanna, oh, this is what we wanna figure out. So the liner side is on the outside. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and spray the window down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go liner side out and I'm just gonna go ahead and just unroll my film. And when I wet it, we're gonna, we're gonna, the, the film is gonna stick to the glass. What we're basically doing is we're trying to pre-size the film. Let's just go ahead and just drop it to the ground right there. Boom. So now I'm holding it here. 
and I'll grab my knife. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut right below, just like that. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off this big excess. We're not gonna need it. You're gonna have wasted film. It's part of the process. So I'm shooting for roughly an inch past the edges. So I'm gonna move this film over here. I'm gonna use this glass as a peel board, a makeshift peel board. I'm gonna lift up. Okay, again, don't forget the liner side is facing me. We're good to go right here. I'm just gonna go place the film side against the glass. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of hold it against here. You can take your, your uh, putty knife and what you can do what's called tacking it down. So basically you're just gonna squeeze you right here and that's gonna get the water out of there and kind of tack it and kind of hold that film there. All right, let's get into the install. Spray down the glass with your slip solution, scrub pad. We just wanna get really good on those edges and in those corners. And we need to do a nice good cleaning. Really get in there. We're gonna go ahead and squeegee now. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my squeegee. I'm gonna start off my squeegee about a half an inch from the edge. So about a half an inch, I'm gonna squeegee all the way across. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my blade. Again, 50% overlapping pattern. So you get a full cleaning. Grab another micro or a paper towel. And we're just gonna start at the top edge and we're gonna wipe the top edge clean. Okay, and then come down the side, just like that. I usually do one, pa uh, one I do the, the the top and the side for one, I get a fresh paper towel. Now this side, remember we didn't squeegee, uh, but a half an inch off the edge, right? So now we're gonna take that squeeze, the paper towel and we're gonna wipe that half inch. And that's what's gonna help keep that glass nice and clean. The window's clean, now ready to rock. Ready for the install, we're gonna go ahead and spray down our glass, just like that. What you can do here is go ahead and spray down your film. What this is gonna do, hopefully, is gonna bring down the static cling when you pull this. When you're peeling the liner, come in close to the sacri. I can just, just scrape the edge until you get the liner off. If not, what you can do, put it between your teeth, get your tongue in there, and then you can pull that liner off. Pull it back on here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and pull that liner off. And as you're pulling the liner off, it's probably a good idea to just go ahead and spray it. And you see why, how I tacked it and why I tacked it? It's gonna hold it down. Wanna pull it straight down, and wet it. We're just gonna take our time pulling this liner off. Boom. Pull that liner to the side. That liner is gonna be very slippery. So try not to step on it. Do another wet, we're good to go. And now this is the adhesive side towards me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Hold up nice and tight. That glass we're working on is already wet. We're just gonna go ahead and transfer it over to the glass side. If you have a straight edge, you can just line up the top and you can just, now you have a straight edge right there, boom. Now you only have to cut two sides. Take our putty knife and just go ahead and using it as a squeegee, okay? I'm gonna push nice and hard and that's gonna be it. So we're tacking the top. Now we pretty much just go down the center and now just squeegee out towards the edges. Where we're gonna cut, you just wanna push out until about a half an inch from that area. 50% overlapping, here's my squeegee. I don't wanna come down here, right? If my squeegee ended here, I want my, it's just like my, my cleaning squeegee, I want 50% overlapping patterns. That way you're pushing out and you're getting out all the as much moisture as you can. Now, time for the cutting. We're gonna use our putty knife as a guide so that we can cut. So you just wanna take a little bit of blade out, nothing too crazy, about three, four blades out here and use our putty knife and come over on this side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this putty knife right against the edge right here. Right against the edge right here, I'm gonna hold my knife right up against that. And now I'm gonna slide down. I'm gonna slide the putty knife down. So as you can see, I'm sliding the putty knife down with the knife as well at the same time. This is gonna help me get as close to the edge as possible. It's standard to have a small gap, about a 16th of an inch. If you get to this position, all you wanna do is just take your film and make sure you pull away from your project area. What I'll do is I'll probably shove that right into that corner right there. Start from the bottom, using the putty knife as a guide up against the edge of the glass. Coming up, boom, just like that. That's one side, do the same thing. It's gonna be a little weird in certain areas because now I'm crossing my body. But as long as you keep the, the putty knife up against the edge, you're just gonna use that as a guide. And obviously this is where you wanna take your time because this is the most important part. Because if you cut in and you mess up, you have to take this whole thing off and start over again. Now the bottom, same thing. Use the putty knife, get right up against that edge and use that putty knife, it's gonna hold the film down. It's gonna give you that nice straight line. Now we just cut three edges, moving on. Let's use the putty knife again. Let's go ahead and push out the excess moisture that we didn't push out before. 
spraying it out nice and evenly and easy. All right, we're pretty much done at this point. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take paper towels and you're gonna fold it over, fold it over. What we're gonna be doing is called bumping. We're just gonna bump the edges. What this is gonna do is gonna, is gonna absorb the excess moisture and, um, and really kind of seal in that edge. Make sure you get every inch, every bit. Now, if you see that your that you, the, the, the putty knife you're using or something else that you're using might be a little too abrasive. What you can do is you can take a paper towel, just like when we were bumping, but you can use the paper towel instead to cover the putty knife. And that way uh, it'll definitely minimize the, pro the probability of like scratching. So that's pretty much it guys. And then kind of clean up and you're moving on to your next window. This window is probably gonna take 60 to 90 days. It really just depends on where it is and where it's facing. As the film cures and dries, the moisture pockets will collect together and pull together and then in turn evaporate out. If this window was a front door and it constantly got sun, it would cure a lot faster. But just give it some time. It's like Novocaine, give it time, it always works. Now that we're done with this, I'm showing you this option because some people maybe just wanna try and give it a shot on their own. If you've never done it before, it does take a little bit of practice. You're gonna see when you do it. I've been doing this for over 10 years and it looks that good because I'm that good. This window itself, uh, costs about $9.20. If I was coming in here as a professional and to do this job, we would probably mark this window at $100. So there's a significant price difference. So if you're looking to try to save money, definitely a better option. So there's definitely some pros and cons to doing this as well. We're Sun Solutions Tinning. Well, we're based in the Tampa Bay area. If you guys happen to be in the area and you guys want our services, just go ahead and look us up, sunsolutionswindowtint.com. Um, if you're not in the area and you're maybe thinking about going the professional route, is we use a film uh, from SolarGuard. They're a very reputable company. They're on par with, uh, with 3M, uh, with Lumar's Vista series and a number of other ones. Very good quality films. If you're looking to, to find a, a professional uh, through that network, then you can go to solarguard.com backslash find hyphen a hyphen dealer backslash, and that'll bring you up to the portal where you can just kind of put what you're looking for, and then they will they will guide you to other dealers, other window tinters that can do the job for you as well. And let's take a quick look on the outside. This is a silver film. So as you can see, it's more of a, a silver reflective film, definitely a mirror film. You're gonna see some moisture pockets. You're gonna see some contamination here and there compared to, to what the normal standard windows look like. You wanna be standing and six feet away from the glass. You also want to be looking through the glass. And if you can't see the contamination within that, it's considered acceptable. You're not gonna have a perfect install. They might be a speck here or there. It's, it's normal. Good luck, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, you can hit it up in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful for you. Go ahead and check out some other videos that I have available as well. So thanks again, guys, for watching. You guys have a great day.